once again welcome everyone so myself dr rakesh agrawal secretary general risk management association of india so i think uh, most of the participants are member of rmi and for a uh, new member i will just give a brief introduction uh, risk management association is a global body on research and development in risk management so we are doing lot of activities in the area of uh, research on risk management and allied subjects and in uh, 2020 we 2020 we launched a online course on risk management and uh, very soon we are going to launch a course on risk management course related to banking with the introduction course on credit risk management and uh, apart from that we keep on publishing uh, bulletins and all so today we had have this uh, webinar on a very important topic are we insured against all potential threats threats that may just crop up because as a insurance professional or risk management professionals while we advise everyone many times we see that we ourselves don't uh, get sufficiently insured so for today's session we have dr asrani who is a very ex expert expert in this sub this subject so i would uh, request mr deepak choudhary our council member rmi to briefly introduce uh, mr dr ashani after that we can start the session thank you dr rakesh thank you dr rakesh dr ashani is in a comprehensive family practice since 1977 as dnb and mbbs he is a founder of inches group he is expert in leveraging medical forensic legal insights to help the industry of insurance biotech pharma and corporate health he joined insurance consultant since 2000 as medico legal system expert he is nominated as legal in general medical at times healthcare achievers award 2018 mumbai by times of india he is being appointed as senior health insurance consultant for world bank and worked in closed conjunction with team of nha he has conducted over 850 training sessions as cme for medicos public courses medical training for others and over 15 training sessions overseas like singapore malaysia bangkok dubai and many more he conducted training at insurance institute of india national insurance academy world bank of symposia he had done many all india radio shows and written articles in leading newspapers he had over 1500 tweets 200 fb posts and over 4.8 million views of his answer on quora.com Quora he sir we are very grateful that sir you are uh, you have joined uh, today's session to share your experience with us sir over to you <clears throat> thank you very much for those nice words thank you rakesh ji thank you deepak ji what i am going to talk today is all the feelings of mine as a doctor less as a insurance professional because as a doctor you know many a times we have to help patient even financially rather than charging them because they just cannot make the ends meet and my experience of 45 years says with a very small penetration of insurance in india say less than 7% almost 99% of us are under insured so that is why when rakesh ji spoke to me ki ek webinar karna hai kya kare i said let's talk on this because this is what i recommend to everybody that you should be adequately insured because you know none of us would like to sell the property or jewelry or even go to a government hospital for treatment so the question to each one i think start thinking now and maybe afterwards the webinar you take a piece of paper and then decide are you adequately insured we all are insurance professionals and we all know that anyone in age of 30 or 40 today can get hypertension or diabetes we also know it is difficult to increase some assured with increasing age 
whether it is life insurance or it is health insurance. We know it is very difficult to take large life insurance policy. I still tell life insurance is okay because you know it is after your death, your family, and if you don't have insurance, no, you do not see how your family suffers. But if you have a disease and you don't die, that is worse than death. We know that there are several riders available with life insurance policies, but have we taken advantage of them? We know that there are standalone critical illness, accident benefit and disease specific benefit policies available. But have we taken that? We feel sympathy for anyone in our contact who has cancer. Have we ever considered whether anyone in our family can get this? Because we always think, you know, this cannot happen to me. The main question is, are we safe from mishaps in our life? I will start with one real incident. This is of 1999. A close friend, a doctor, a honest doctor who never took any kickback from any hospital, had a very small second hand Maruti car. In 1999, January, his mediclaim was for renewal. That time, the highest policy one could take was 5 lakhs. He had a policy of 1 lakh of his own and 1 lakh for his wife. Even being a doctor, the only thing people think of is heart attack. Because Safola has dramatized heart attack on television. So he increased his premium, his sum assured to 3 lakhs because he was 47 year old and he kept his wife's at one lakh only thinking that since she is menstruating still she's safe from heart attack in march 99 she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia we all approached him and we said if you need any financial help please call us don't hesitate he says, no, I have insurance. He was very confident. I will be able to tide it over. We asked him, how much insurance? He says, one lakh. We told him cancer costs much more. He said, no, I am very sure. And when I go to good hospitals, they don't charge me because the doctor's fee is not charged to me. His wife's first hospitalization of seven days with no doctor's charging cost him 98,000 rupees. The whole treatment she survived for 11 months before dying cost him 8.5 lakh rupees. He was a good man. He could arrange money from friends and he could pay it back within 2 to 3 years time. But imagine in 1999, 8 lakh rupees in 11 months treatment when no surgery was done. Chemotherapy, blood transfusion, platelet transfusion and blood test. <clears throat> Another incident, 2004, my own patient. 34 year old, diagnosed with uh, hypertension. He was senior vice president in an ad agency. And I explained to him that uh, you should have a good insurance cover because hypertension is a risk factor for heart disease, stroke and kidney disease. And you should take this tablet regularly. He says, what is this? At 34, you want me to start a tablet? I said, this will ensure that you will reach 70 without any complication. He left me. He went to another doctor. One and a half year later, his wife came to me crying. He had suffered from a stroke. And this stroke had paralyzed his right side of the body. And in the right side of the body, stroke, speech goes. 
at the age of 35 and a half this man became non productive and in those years we didn't have stroke ka thrombolytic therapy clots couldn't be dissolved it's today almost 17 years later he's got no income wife is taking tuitions and if he had thought of taking a policy i had just entered insurance in 2000 i was telling him to buy a critical illness and a health insurance policy another real life incident where a critical illness policy would have really helped this case i will tell you later we know life has life is full of uncertainties covid has shown healthy people have died sick people have survived anybody can fall sick anybody can die till before covid we would say acute infection don't kill but now covid kills acute infections covid pneumonia dengue chronic silent ailments hypertension diabetes lipid problems giving a sudden heart attack sudden stroke all of you who are present here friends i am sure you heard of at least one incident in your life where the patient was just fine last night and this did not get up today or a 42 year old executive attending a semi presentation and just collapsed on his seat reached hospital in 10 minutes brought dead <clears throat> accident and death even when covid was at a peak first wave second wave newspapers would report that accidents kill more patients daily than even covid was killing and you may be a very safe driver no how you can be sure that you will not meet with an accident if you are driving four wheeler you spent money on a good car which is a strong car but just imagine a truck or a trailer where are you if someone dies family gets life insurance benefit the person person like us who's the decision maker who's the bread earner does not see the un- difficulties the family faces later on and if people have insurance somebody has taken insurance of 2 crores 10 years back today 10 years later he should think no what is the value of 2 crores today i should increase this i'm sure but no they still 20 years later will think i have a 2 crore term insurance but major sickness and no death like this stroke patient of mine enough not enough health insurance to pay hospital bills most of us are underinsured this case of 2020 when i'm going to tell you is again an example what about out of hospital expenses i always tell people life insurance is for your family after you die health insurance is for the doctor who treats you and everything else you have to fend for yourself so all of us have to take benefit plans where we get money for out of pocket expenses more so people who are having self employed businesses and if you land up with no productivity you may have a policy of 40 lakhs you undergo a bypass surgery you are a self employed person the hospital bills are paid by the insurance company but then you have to take 2 to 3 months rest how will your house run and after 3 months your business won't start with the same frequency as it was before so what are the options with life insurance let's discuss most of you may know but then i'm just recapitulating guaranteed insurability rider you take a policy now you pay some extra premium for a certain period of time based on the company 
sorry even if you fall get a chronic disease even if your health status changes having taken this rider you will be able to get a policy again of the same issue which you decided accidental death rider death due to accident you get double the benefit waiver of premium rider you have a life insurance policy but definitely benefits are only on death but we get permanently disabled fall from height fracture of the neck vertebra all four limbs paralyzed now live for another 10 years if you taken this rider your premiums are waived off the policy continues family income benefit rider in your death the family gets a fixed income per month per quarter per year as you decided because you also know that a lump sum money going to the family when there is nobody to plan is generally spent very fast accelerated and benefit rate here even if you are not dead there is no chance of recovery you will still get the death benefit and long term care rider if you have a policy but then you require long term care you do not die you will get a certain amount of benefit how many of us have how many of these riders for ourselves and our family members health insurance what are the road blocks <clears throat> we all think that uh, you know health insurance is like going to temples we will go to temple we will pray to god when we are 40 year old 45 year old but in one of the annual checkups you come to know you are pre diabetic or you are diabetic and you will still get a policy with four year waiting period but do you know that people who are diagnosed with diabetes today 25% will have diabetic retinopathy or their kidneys may be affected or their heart may be affected this is called target organ damage if you have diabetes or hypertension with target organ damage you are uninsurable you have untreated hypertension let me tell you something about hypertension there are 100 patients who have blood pressure high blood pressure it is a silent disease half of them only are aware that they have blood pressure and they are macho i have no problem why should i take treatment so 25% will not take treatment so 100 hypertensive 50 not aware those who are aware half are will to only take treatment and out of that still half will take optimal treatment they'll go to the doctor regularly get the dose adjusted so out of 100 hypertensives 2.5% blood pressure is controlled 87.5% are waiting to die of complications so left ventricular hypertrophy with hypertension heart pumping failure all these tests are done today for high sum assured diastolic dysfunction grade 2 or more these all conditions are uninsurable other chronic ailment asthma copd tobacco chewing smoker already suffered heart attack stroke or cancer did you know that health insurance is still possible and without waiting period irdi has now made it possible there are 16 diseases or systems you can ask for a lifelong exclusion of that particular thing and still take a policy health insurance versus cost of treatment one second uh sir i have a question uh, shall i ask it now or later no later on we can take all questions later on 
अच्छा थैंक यू नाउ व्हाई डू यू नीड हायर सम एश्योर्ड न्यूअर ट्रीटमेंट्स कमिंग एवरी डे डीप ब्रेन स्टिमुलेशन फॉर पार्किंसोनिज्म targeted chemotherapy we know that cancer chemotherapy kills normal cells also so now we have targeted chemotherapy which only kills cancer cells not the normal cells cost is double new technology a tonsil surgery which earlier would take 15 to 20000 now there is a radio frequency ablation no chances of bleeding cost is 70000 higher antibiotics why higher antibiotics because most of us take antibiotic on our own ask yourself how many of you have taken azithromycin without a doctor's prescription so when you actually fall sick routine antibiotics don't work on you and higher antibiotics cost almost 20000 a day minimal access surgery nobody wants a open surgery now why have 20 stitches so laparoscopy robotic stereotactic gamma knife gamma knife One sitting, two lakh rupees. Joint replacement. Earlier on, they were three to five lakhs. Now there is a new joint come, which is for thirty years life. So cost is nine lakh rupees. Organ transplants costing right from fifteen to forty lakh rupees. And who knows who is going to need? Initially, we thought liver transplants only for alcoholics. No, not anymore. vegetarians non alcoholics diabetics requiring liver transplant and genetic tests a cancer patient we get opinions from insurance companies this patient has been advised this test which is costing 3 lakh rupees sample is sent to america yes it is required because this will tell the doctor which chemotherapy to give unfortunately you are unfortunate you either meet with an accident on a sunday or a public holiday or you get a heart attack on a sunday you need to put a stent do you know the cost is double this case i am telling you is of my own real brother my younger brother 60 year old diabetic morbidly obese got a stroke on saturday sunday morning 11 o'clock they told him within one hour we will ship to your room once the room is available within 10 minutes he get a second stroke then they do all the investigations they tell the wife a stent has to be put in the brain which is 6 and a half lakh rupees she called me i said if it is to be put it has to be put so she agreed for 6 and 1/2 but they said no but today is sunday that is 13 lakh rupees my brother who had never asked me how much insurance to have was happy with a 5 lakh cover landed up with a bill of 24 lakh rupees in one month time and now i have got him a policy from a insurer saying that brain no claim lifelong exclusion because you know you can fall sick for dengue also you can get an accident also so even if you had a major issue health wise you can still exclude that for life and take a policy stroke thrombolysis you get a stroke you reach a hospital within 3 hours they can dissolve the clot cure the stroke cost 6 and 1/2 lakh rupees and if it is a sunday 13 lakh rupees stent placement post accident surgery especially head injury where you cannot wait and even a small hernia which is triangulated normal cost 1 to 1 1/2 lakh on a night if you get it in the night they have to operate in the night only double the cost 8 pm to 8 am is 100% extra cost the question is how much is enough this is a very tough question to answer i tell people whatever is your capacity 
you should have that much insurance because you cannot ever predict what sickness you are going to get. To my young patients, I recommend a telescopic cover. I tell them at 25 years, you have 5 lakhs. At 30 years, you make it 10. And every 5 years, you keep doubling. And all you are doing now by doubling the sum assured is taking care of the inflation and taking care of your higher risk of getting a major disease. Start young, double sum assured every five years. Floater or individual? People, wife, husband, one child have a five leg floater and they are sitting comfortably. I said, how do you travel? We travel on our bike. I said, suppose the bike is hit by a truck or a car. All three of you need the treatment simultaneously. You think your five legs will last even two days? So, I tell people, if you want to take a floater, no. You take maximum amount you can afford of a person's individual policy, multiply by two, take that floater so that you have a bigger buffer for one person if the one person falls very sick. Add 50% for the child. Corporate cover, personal cover. Very sad scenario. A very senior professional on LinkedIn retired from insurance wrote last week that I never took private insurance because my company was giving me. I thought I will keep working till I am 80. But then I thought of quitting and now nobody is giving me insurance. So people are happy with uh, corporate insurance, which is never more than 2 to 5 lakhs. Today I met a CFO of a general insurance company. He's saying, out of 8,000 employees in my organization, only 300 have personal policies. And then what happens is, till you retire, no, even a 5 lakh policy is almost non-affordable. So all those who have corporate cover, check out what is the cover and cover yourself with personal. Accident insurance, how much is enough? I would say the maximum that you can get. And if you are a self-employed person and you have certain employees in your company, you want the company to benefit, you can take an accident insurance and make it payable to the company. I have taken 2 crore accident insurance and the benefit will go to my company because the company should something happen to me, the company should not suffer too much. Miscellaneous insurance. Property. Is your house insured by you? Not the society insurance. Is your office insured? And for what you have insured? Flood insurance. In the infamous floods of Mumbai about 18 years back and Chennai a few years ago, people had not taken flood insurance for cars, saving to 200 rupees and the whole car got damaged. Lower floor property, I am in Kalina, in the flood of Bombay, Kalina was flooded 8 feet water. None of the ground floor people had property insurance or flood insurance. Do you have all that? Valuables. Today, jewelry is not the only valuable. When you insure your house, your refrigerator, you may be having a one to one and a half lakh rupee worth refrigerator, 20,000 micro oven, 40,000 washing machine, 60,000 LCD TV. All that has to be insured. Even your computers have to be insured against power fluctuation, short circuits and all that thing. Overseas travel, 
even you are going for a two day trip please ensure it has happened to a close doctor friend of mine he was going to singapore to see a patient one day he said ek din ke liye kya lo insurance there he got a heart attack landed up spending 27 lakh rupees for two days treatment and for travel insurance never forget pre existing diseases are not covered so now when i go overseas i know that all my diabetes hypertension related claims will not be paid i am just covering accident or acute infections then your habits are you a tobacco chewer or do you smoke or even if you have a 50 lakh insurance and you get a heart attack or a stroke or a cancer you will not get that claim because every policy of every insurance company says claim related to substance abuse is not paid alcohol chronic liver disease and drugs of pleasure questions now sir one thing i uh, what i am missing here actually the world is now you know uh, just getting out from the pandemic and we have seen many people are going trap their depressions so uh, is is it something which is cover related to depression disease because uh, fourth of one people you know having depressions and some of the suicidal thought recently we have seen so is the, is this kind of disease uh, covered here yeah the- mental health now as per irda directive of uh, 2019 mental health is covered by insurers but you know there is a lot of uh, gap what is happened is there was a letter written by the secretary association to their members that after all these years of our patients not getting claims now it is our time so what they are doing is they are admitting patients of depression for 1 to 2 months and raising bills of 2 3 lakh rupees that is becoming abuse opd treatment is not yet covered understand one thing like you know i tell my patients in it this is not a part of the topic today i tell my patient that if you go to hospital and they ask you how much policy you have don't say how much policy you have you just say i have exhausted i only have 40 50000 balance otherwise even if for a simple malaria they will wash clean out your 2 lakh to 1 half lakh but yes mental health is covered in in health insurance now so sir uh, uh, if uh, mental health if you say about the people having you know deep depression clinical hmm. depressions hmm. they need some kind of treatment and need to be uh, hospitalized so they i will get, the, they will get the claim they will get the claim they will get the claim yeah. and uh, one more things to know actually uh, uh, what about the societal death because we have seen uh, in the pandemic time one of the actor committed suicide due to the pandemic uh, due to the dep- depression actually so how much these things are being covered under this, uh, insurance see now health insurance always has that suicide in the first year is not paid mm-hmm. second year onwards suicide is paid because the law feels that nobody is going to take a policy and commit suicide after one year because you know suicide is a very instant decision i am very depressed i do something right now i would not plan after 3 months 6 months and all yeah yeah so suicide is paid but if you have an accident insurance policy their suicidal death is not paid then you may be depressed patient we are okay but then their accident has clearly said that self inflicted injuries and deaths are not paid in term insurance they it should be paid right term insurance no i don't think they will pay i do no, second year on was second year on was talking of endowment policy after one year they will pay term insurance i am not very sure if there is anyone here from life insurance i would request them to Shed light on that. Yes, sir. Uh, beside Nitin Jam, uh, I am from uh, Life Insurance Part. 
uh, if I'll be allowed to, I'll, I'll just give you the brief. Sure, sure, sure. Please go ahead. Yeah. Actually, in suicidal case, uh, the alike uh, uh, health insurance after one year, you know, that is covered. But you have uh, insurance. High in pure term insurance, in pure term insurance, it is covered. But that is after uh, one year. After okay. one year. Hmm. Sir, one uh, one question is here, sir. Actually, nowadays private player are not much more transparent with their client. Actually, so I have uh, my own, you know, experience. My father died when I was, you know, ten years old. Actually. My father had one lakh policy from accidental policy. So that time, even I was not having much knowledge about, you know, I submitted all the required document, uh, whatever asked by the insurance company. Mm -hmm. Later on, uh, insurance company, uh, you know, started sending me later uh, and they, 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 they started uh, requesting all the information. We all, almost provided that. Later on, what they come to conclusions like they have not paid the insurance claims. They just say that you have not, you know, submitted the document on the right time. So since we are not enough capable that point of time to, you know, fight with uh, that and go to the court in the league for the legal matter and take the actions. So our family left with that actually. This story is almost happened in 2006. You know, okay. And we are uh, still not paid actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'm not going to your case. I'm just giving one example, a small example, why, uh, why this generally happens and what is the scenario with life insurance company under the certain provision of IRDAI, you know, any insurer have currently right, they can uh, uh, decline the claim within the first third year of the policy. You know, if any material facts or any things that is not disclosed to the insurer, they may have the right to decline those you know, based on their internal investigation. You know, that is the provision of IRDAI. Uh, may that be the scenario in your case? I'm not very much uh, pretty sure. Uh, but otherwise, no. there is no such yeah. provision. There is no such provision. After three years of uh, uh, competition of the policy, any insurer including private players in the market can uh, decline the claim of a customer. So that no, is a problem. That, that, yeah. no, no, that is a very open debatable because yeah, yeah. Uh, section 45 has been brought in by IRDA. Yes, yes, yes. The insurer, if can prove no, that there was intention to defraud, then yes, cases have been won by insurers even at high court level. But you have to prove intention to defraud. You have to prove documentary evidence that this person knew everything and still did not tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. But after In, competition of three years, one cannot uh, uh, decline the request of a customer uh, directly. And See, that too was, you know, but uh, through national insurance. Okay. Okay, okay. May that be, but uh, this was uh, from my uh, submission. I mean, uh, whatever they have asked, they, we have provided, but uh, I mean, private player has to be transparent with their client, actually. So this is what actually, still more people, if you talk about the life insurance, they are going towards LIC rather than just opting, you know. Or if you <laughs> see about the private player, the, play, uh, the people are more inclined towards Tata because they are a trusted brand, actually. Uh, every insurer, including all the private players, they have to follow the uh, guidelines of uh, IRDAI. You know? uh, so, uh, if you feel uh, there is something, uh, you can definitely, definitely just uh, go to the appropriate forum. There is ombudsman for insurers. You know, you can approach over there if you feel uh, if anything uh, such thing is happening over there. You know? And you feel that that is uh, being defrauded or fraud by the insurance company side, you know, and the insurance companies are not paying. One can easily approach ombudsman. Uh, can you send the details of what you said actually? Yeah, we uh, can, I, can, I think yeah, we can share it later on. We, we yeah, we can share it in the box. Okay.
thank you sir thank you there is one more question uh, in case of robotic surgeries i think there is a, there a, there is a cap now i think uh, for uh, based on the sum insured so even if say i have a uh, policy of 50 lakhs and uh, i think in robotic surgery there is a cap so how to uh, no see the cap is different i'll tell you like navi bupa has a limit of 1 lakh but they are giving 100% of all the cancer surgeries cardiothoracic and all that so cap is there but then like you know i would say as a practicing doctor you don't need robotic for a hernia or appendix or a uterus removal then many companies are giving sub limit is 50% of sum assured one thing i would inform all of you here make sure that sub limit is applied only to the robotic charges not the full surgery charges because every bill has a separate robotic charge separate item and no robotic charge will be more than 2 lakh rupees so make sure that robotic is applied only to the robotic item is billing and not for the full billing or full surgical billing there is a lot of gray area here but my experience you know i am a fraud fighter i am a person who keeps the cost low but i have seen one thing for any company to reject a claim there is a very strong process there is a claim committee then for any case to repudiate there is a committee then there is a grievance committee so today most companies are paying almost 95 to 98% claims there is very less likelihood of a claim being unjustly denied yeah i think i i also recently came across a claim where i think the sum assured was around 10 lakhs and uh, the this uh, the charges for robotic surgery was something around 8.25 lakhs and uh, he was paid only 5 lakhs as no, a, uh, no 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 so that is the mistake 8.25 lakh was the full surgery cost so if you can go to that person no ask him to give you a bill copy in that bill they write robotic surgery robotic machine 1 lakh and consumables can be at the most 1 lakh so 6 and a half was surgeon fee theater fee anesthesia and all that so the sub limit should have been applied only to robotic not for everything else okay then uh, yeah The, the they cannot limit the exact the, the the whole amount they can they cannot claim they cannot claim they cannot apply limit to whole amount and and uh, one more question i think uh, say as you said that uh, in mumbai there's a cost of surgery doubles on sunday so is it in mumbai only or any other city no, everywhere everywhere everywhere, in, everywhere 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 so uh, is it legal because if someone goes in court of uh, court then uh, Uh, charging double on a different uh, on one any See, particular day is it it is legal because you are coming to me by choice i have not invited you and all these are rules are written in their document okay and all private hospitals no court cannot do anything see i'll tell you the reason for this is all hospitals have a very skeleton staff in the night and people have to be called sunday also people have to be called so and this has been done you know to deter people i'll tell you what happens people to save their working days save the leaves they want surgery on sunday they want surgery on this then our indians they say ye acha din hai ekadashi hai is din operation karna hai to they say okay sunday karna hai double paisa de do so do we have any other questions then if not Sir, i would like to, to take know. your leave i have a webinar other another zoom meeting going on now acha acha yeah that's good sir you inform about the sunday things actually so we used to usually prefer sunday yeah we have seen the certain cases and that is very useful information and we will you know thanks for that actually thank you thank you rakesh ji Yeah. Uh, thanks, Dr. Srani, for an excellent session and uh, uh, good insights. 
so we got to learn lot of new things also so if anybody has any question they can always uh, email it to us and uh, we can just uh, uh, i will answer the thing no issue yeah. so thank all thanks all the participants okay. for joining thank you very much and thanks thank a lot doctor thank you so all much. of you thank you yeah thank you so much sir thank you thank you Thank you.